Canva has recently released a set of new AI features to its Magic Studio and it is ranging from Magic Expand to Magic Wrap to Magic Erase and Canva has really upped its graphic designing game with the advancements of AI. Hello guys and welcome to today's video by B10X. Today we'll be showing you the top 5 features that Canva has brought to its new Magic Studio with the integration of AI. So let's dive straight into it and show you the first feature. The first feature that we have in today's video is called uh, Grab Text. So what it really does is that if we see an image and we just want to change the text of it or we want to remove the text altogether, we can use this feature and we can just grab each and every text that is there on the image. So this is one of our own YouTube videos thumbnail. Uh, this file, as you can see, we are not able to edit and Let's say I want only uh, the text to say 10 tips for chat GPT. I do not want the rest of the stuff here. So what I'll do is I'll just select the image. I'll go to edit photo. And here we'll be able to all the new elements of the Magic Studio. But for this one, we just want the grab text feature. And we will just enable it. And let's wait and see what Canva is able to do for us. And there we go guys, Canva is able to actually grab the text from this image. Uh, if you want, we can change the font here. I'll make it Leak Spartan, which is one of my personal favorite fonts. And uh, I can increase the size of it, I can decrease it, I can move it around. I can even like delete it. And as I said, I wanted to just say 10 tips for chat GPT. So we'll just try that. What we'll do is uh, we'll duplicate this and here we'll type for chat GPT and we'll just decrease the size of it a bit we'll spread it across and we'll make the size here almost the same as well so here we go guys um, we are able to successfully change the entire text of the image if you want you can delete it altogether if you do not like the text you can remove it and you can manually add the text from canvas studio here so this feature is really helpful if you like any image on the internet and you want to change the text of the image you can do it with this feature all right guys so the second feature that we have in today's video is called magic erase so what this feature really does is that it easily removes or i'll say erases any uh, word or any image from uh, a whole picture for example, in this one, uh, which is by the way, one of our own YouTube thumbnails, I want to remove the number five. Okay. So I'll once again, select this image. I'll go on to edit photo and here I'll select the magic eraser. Once we have it, we can select the brush size of it. I'll keep it at about 42 and I'll just select five and we'll wait for the magic to happen and let's see. Canva is able to remove it. There's just a tiny bit of dot here. So we'll select it again. And there we go, guys. Uh, the number five is successfully removed from the image. And it feels as if the number five was never really there. So this is the second feature, which is Magic Eraser. It really helps if you want to remove something from an image. And you can do it successfully with this feature. Moving on to the third feature, guys. For this, we need to open the sidebar and go to the elements section here we will find an option of AI image generator we'll click on generate your own image so canva now has its own text to image generator so herein we can just give a prompt and canva will be able to imagine it and produce the image in front of us earlier we were uh, doing this on tools like mid journey and on tools like dali 2 but uh, now with Canva, we do not need to rely on them. So let's give it a prompt and see what the results are really like. So I'll just say teddy bear on a skateboard on a road and I'll hit enter. So Canva will be trying to produce four results for us and it will obviously take a few seconds because it is imagining something which has come straight from our own head. So Canva would take a bit of time, but not that much. And here we go, guys. Here we have the image. And I would say I like this one the most out of the four. And I'll just show you 
how realistic it is. If we zoom in a bit, we can see that it is a real life teddy bear uh, hiding a skateboard on a road. So that's uh, Canva's image generation. Uh, and we'll take another example, guys. So I'll once again go to elements and I'll go to the text to image generator. This time I'll say astronaut riding a cycle. So let's see this time around what Canva can produce. We know that it really gave us a nice result in the first time, but this is a bit of a difficult prompt because astronauts, they can't really ride a cycle when they're ready for a space mission. But to my surprise, Canva has once again done really, really well, guys. I'll remove this image and just waiting for the fourth image to come. And uh, okay, guys, wow. So see, uh, it's a it's an astronaut who is really riding a cycle. I like this image the most, I would say. And once again, we can see the detailing of it. It's really looking amazing. Uh, we can see the oxygen tank as well. And we can see the planets here, the stars, the galaxy. And it's a really, really cool image. So guys, before we uh, go on to the remaining two features of this video, I would like to bring it to your notice that we at B10X have organized a two-hour live AI tools and chat GPT workshop, wherein we teach you everything about AI tools. So if you've liked the video so far and you think that AI is something that you would be using in your life and it is something that can really help you, I would ask you to check out the link in the description, which is for the workshop. It is at a very, very low price and it is being taught by two IIT Kharagpur alumnus. So guys, I think it is a no-brainer for you to take up the workshop as you will surely learn a lot only at a very low price. So sign up for the workshop and I promise that you will not regret your decision. With that being said, I would show you the remaining two features that we have in this video. The fourth one that we have is called Magic Expand. So let's say I like this image, but I want it to be in the entire frame of uh, this design. I want uh, I want to see what else does he have in his environment, what else is there in his surroundings. So what we'll do is we'll select the image, we'll go to edit photo and here we'll select magic expand. And now uh, we can select the size of the expansion like in what ratio do we want the expansion to happen. I'll select the whole page since we want it to be for the whole page which is the 16 is to 9 ratio. So now what Canva is doing, it's trying to imagine what else can be there in the nearby surroundings of this particular image. So it will be preparing four variations for us. And guys, see, look at this. How beautiful is this? You can see we have four variations and none of them really disappoint. Wow, I like this one the most, guys. See. So this is the power of magic expand. I really like this image. So you can even make these images and have them as your own desktop wallpaper or even your phone wallpaper. You can create them for your own social media channels. You can do anything with this guys. So sky is the limit and like very actually for this image, the sky is the limit. And I would personally be saving this image and I would be trying this out as my wallpaper because if you just see the detailing of it, Canva was really able to imagine it and wow, I really have no words for this image. I'll show you one more use case of this particular feature. Let's say uh, we have another image which is not generated by Canva but one that we have found. Uh, so this is a Hong Kong skyscraper and I want it to be spread across the whole page. Now you may think that why can't we manually uh, increase its size. I'll show you why. If we try to spread it across ourselves, we'll see that the image is being cut, right? Uh, I can't see the lake or the river. And if I decrease the size of it, it's not moving to the entire page. So what we'll do is we'll once again select this image. We'll go to edit photo and we'll hit on magic expand and I want it to be for the whole page also. So I'll hit on magic expand and let's see what Canva is able to do with the image this time around. Once again, Canva does not disappoint. 
uh, we have four variations of this and I would say that each and every one of them are looking really realistic and we were able to successfully expand the image. So you can try it for yourself guys and I'm sure that you will find it really really useful. Alright guys, so for the final uh, feature which is called uh, Magic Grab, what we'll do is we'll get an image generated once again from Canvas Text to Image Generator. I'll just say three boys sitting on a bench and let's see what Canva is able to produce for us. And the final feature of this video does is that it is able to grab anything from an image and we can just single it out. So I asked for three, but in two of the images, it is given us four images, but that's fine. We'll just take this one as I like uh, this image and we'll select the image. We'll go to edit photo and here we have the magic grab option. So we'll just select the magic grab option and I'll wait for the magic to happen. And here we go, guys. Uh, we are able to select all of these boys. And let's say I do not, uh, let's say we want the original three boys only. We do not want the fourth boy, right? So I can remove uh, the fourth child. And see, guys, uh, we have the three boys here. Or if I want uh, him to be here, I can inc I can decrease their size. I can readjust it, and yeah, that's the beauty of this uh, magic grab feature. I'll show you an example of an image that we uh, have with us. So I'll just upload it. All right. So here we have another image. This is of a teacher teaching in a class, and let's say I do not want the teacher to be here in the image, uh, or I want to decrease the size of her or move her around in the image. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, select the photo. Once again, we'll go to edit photo and we'll click on magic grab here. And see guys, just like that, uh, we were able to select the teacher here. I want uh, her to be on this side. I can do that. This side, I can do that. Decrease uh, the size of her, we can do that. Or if you want to totally eliminate her from the photo, we can do that as well. So guys, here we have it, the top five latest new features of Canva powered by AI. I really hope that you found this video interesting and helpful. I would ask you to check out these features yourselves, try it amongst yourselves. And if you have any doubts or any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And I would like to once again, remind you about our two hours AI tools workshop. The link is set in the description. We hope to see you there. And if you want to see more content like this, do subscribe to the channel and be notified whenever we upload a new video. I hope that you really like this video and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.